All right, here we're going to look at another example of uh, evaluating, finding the sum for an infinite geometric series if it exists. So uh, part B here, we've got the sum of n equals 1 to infinity of 3 to the n over 4 to the n plus 2 over 7 to the n. So the way this stands right now, this is not a geometric series. You could start expanding it out, and you're not multiplying by the same number each time. Um, I do see these powers of n, though, on numbers, and that makes me think about geometric series. And, well, there's a nice little property of series that says, you know, if you're adding two things together, you can split these up into two individual series and just look at them individually. And now when we break them up, we are going to have uh, two separate geometric series. So I'm going to rewrite the first one. You know, we can rewrite this as 3 over 4, all raised to the n power. Constants you can factor outside of the summation. So the 2, I'm just going to pull that out front. And then we'll have n equals 1 to infinity. We would have a 1 left in the numerator. And I'm going to write this as 1 over 7, all raised to the n power. Okay, so now I'm taking the original formula and just breaking it up into two separate um, geometric series. And again, both of these are convergent because the r values are between positive 1 and negative 1. So here we've got an r value of 3 over 4. For this, uh, this series, we've got an r value of 1 7 for this geometric series. So okay, so these will both converge. This one says it will, it will converge to the first term. So if we plug in n equals 1, we'll get 3 over 4. And then we do 1 minus our r value, which again is 3 over 4, plus, then we have, you know, we'll have 2 times whatever the sum of our series is. So we have 2 times, well, let's see, the first term here, when we plug in n equals 1, we'll just be left with 1 7th. And then 1 minus our r value, which again is 1 7th. And that's going to be the sum of the, of the series. So now it's just a little bit of fun arithmetic. So this is 3 fourths. Let's see, so this would be uh, 4 fourths minus 3 fourths. So that'll be 1 fourth in the denominator. We'll have 2 times, so that's 1 over 7. Uh, 1 minus a seventh is going to give us 6 over 7. So 3 fourths divided by 1 fourth just gives us 3 over 1. Uh, a seventh divided by a sixth is going to give us, excuse me, a seventh divided by six over seven is going to give us a sixth. So that's three plus uh, two sixths or one third. So this will be, uh, looks like ten thirds to me will be the value of the, of the series.